What is going on guys, Wiser here, bringing you the recaps of one, uh, some of the most recent wars for Invicta. Um, couple just random matchups against this Russian clan and this other clan. Uh, nothing too, too crazy, but we'll start off with this level 11 Russian clan, uh, 81 to 76. Uh, they did their best over... Um, over their attacks here uh got a fair amount of three stars uh, just kind of fell short um you know they brought some really really strange attacks like we were seeing valks with haste and just some some kind of different things that i guess we're not used to seeing um anyhow uh evicted a really good job twos on all that jazz few triples in there at least one triple i think in there and clear in the board all the way down so beautiful job let's just jump right in because i got a lot of replays to show between these two recaps i'm going to do here so uh number 25 heartless going in the uh i love seeing these um i mean obviously they're very symmetrical sort of form bases but um love seeing the cold-blooded uh quad lalo that he brings here so he's just uh go ahead sending in that um uh, Sending in that one golem with this kill squad, takes care of that defensive queen, takes care of that air defense, is a lava hound in the CC, but no big deal. He doesn't even care about that. So already in come his lava hounds. Number one and two are in. Few balloons going on each of those defenses. Uh, nice part about that quick deployment was they're going to help keep this kill squad alive as long as possible because um, they got their target, right? They took care of everything, and you kind of want them to continue the cleanup process here now. So the air defense, uh, number two is now down. Hounds are moving in, sends in that other hound. Now with a few more balloons back and everything up. <clears throat> <clears throat> so hey spells go down kind of the good spots he is fighting that sweeper there for a moment but it's not a big deal so air defense number three is now down rage goes over the core just got to take care of those expos very interesting heal spell there as well um i think that might have been initially for the kill squad not 100 percent sure on that but is what it is it goes down taking care of those balloons they're gonna rock through the rest of this stuff air defense number four is about to go down see you later haste are moving everything across the base there's really only a tesla and a whiz tower to go just smashed this heartless. Probably could have got away with the three hounds there. I think that one's still at full health. Pup being a little pesky there, but drops the poison even to take care of it. And that is tree in the bag for heartless. Beautiful. Oh, one more builder sets. Kablam. Okay, let's move up the chains a little bit here. Number eight. I had good old McGravy going in. Uh, Gravy brings just uh, basic uh, Shattered Lalo here. Well, not a basic Shattered Lalo, my bad. Uh, four Valkyries he adds in and only goes with the two Lava Hounds. Um, so you can see these golems are going to go in. He's going to blow open this wall. He's going to jump over this kind of section that's in between these two air defense. Uh, send in the Valks, and the Valks are just going to work their way. Basically get this whole um, bottom section a base and uh, gets three air defenses in the process. So he has these two Lava Hounds he's going to send in with a pack of balloons kind of uh, all sprinkled in in a clockwise rotation here um, and easily going to get this three-star so uh, Queen's moving in, sends in that King. Valk's in right behind. In they go. <clears throat> Lava Hound comes out of the CC, but that's no big deal. In fact, the Queen even stays away from it, which is absolutely perfect. She takes care of that air defense and starts wandering up here and starts to do cleanup on the other side. As you can see, everything's moving in. Does not get that air defense right away, but the Wiz steps up, finishes it off. Valk's get in there. King gets in there, takes care of air defense number three. So one, two, and three are now down. That whole section of base is already taken care of. So in comes Lava Hound one, and then Lava Hound two. Nice little little spread couple balloons in on each defense being uh you know very sparse on his balloons he didn't bring that many so hay spell goes down and push everything on top of that air defense just going to continue to support the balloons with the remaining eight balloons he had in the bag there does get this lava hound to burst just in time absolutely perfect come on burst boom there it goes right as all the balloons get on top I don't think he gets that second Lama Hound of Burst, but no big deal, right? All the air defenses are down. He's got a ton of balloons moving in. It is clearly GG for this base. Boom. Clean up stuff all over the base. Does lose the Queen to the King there, but no big deal. <clears throat> see you later, King, and see you later, base. That's treat in the bag for gravy. Nice job, friend. Few more up what else we got here to show you jacob going in on our top nine um i love how jacob can comfortably just bring 12 hogs and know um know that's going to be enough 
<clears throat> so this little queen uh, walk he does from basically 12 all the way down to 9 gets huge value on the way. Okay, So he's going to get the defensive queen. He's going to get all these defenses kind of along the way here. Even get the defensive king. I think he pulls out the CC on top of it. Um, and look at this. He doesn't even have to burn... Um, his ability doesn't have to drop a rage, right? This level 30 queen is going to step up and he's going to be like, eh, I got healers, you don't. So down it goes, it gets really <laughs> close there, but um, I might have panicked and hit the ability myself. But Jacob is a far better man than me, so uh, walks away out of that without using a rage or his ability. I thought that was absolutely beautiful. So now he can use the rage down in this little pocket and get big, big value out of that rage here. Um, so down it's going to go in one second, and it's perfect timing because the king is going to hop out and meet her as well. Uh, does start taking fire from the expo, so really, there it goes. <clears throat> rip through that storage, take one more step up, encounter that king, take care of the CC, down goes the poisons. All minions in that CC, so no big deal for that double poison. Even gets in on that king action. I'm surprised the king hasn't locked on yet. There he goes, jumping that wall. She's just going to finish that king off, step up and get the rest of this stuff. But as you can see from the six o'clock spot, maybe you couldn't see because I didn't have the screen in the right spot. Uh, but the golem goes in, right? Creates that funnel, has eight Valkyries. Now he's gonna stand right at that jump in behind his king. Perfect timing on those skellies too because it kind of sucked those Valks right into that pocket. So no worry about them running, running astray. They're going to get big, big value. Look, like there's not much left of this base. So that's what I mean about the the small amount of hogs he brought, only 12 hogs. He drops a few in on this cannon, and then everything's going to work into this little quad Tesla compartment here. Um, so he's got two hogs in there. We're saving nine in the bag for the back end. I think he sends maybe a few on this cannon. Yep, there go the three on the cannon, and then he's got six more. He's going to send it on that top archer tower. There's no danger of his queen going down. She's going to finish off this bottom stuff, no problem. So really just got to focus on taking care of these last few defenses. He's has one heal spell that he probably does not even need to use at this point but the bomb goes off so yeah probably a good idea but all those hogs would have been a-okay would have jumped in finished this off air defense down that is clean up time treat in the bag nice job jacob thing he had a six pack this for just a beast Recently brought up to 2.0 as well, so congrats, my friend. Um, let's jump in, check out the one TH10 versus TH10 that we had. Oh, maybe not. Sorry, TH9.5, very developed 9.5. Um, so all Town Hall 9 defenses, no Inferno Towers. Uh, Chat's just going to go in here with the Dragon Attack, though. For some reason, when I first checked this, I thought it was a 10 versus 10. <laughs> just kind of took a look at the Army Comp and... Uh, I guess I was wrong. Uh, so the idea here, right, is the Zap Quakes. He's already taking care of three air defenses now. So in come all these dragons. Sorry, just going to keep this on time too because the dragons are very, very slow. Just going to work through this base like absolutely nothing. Just shredding all this stuff. Really needs to have them funnel upwards. Only gets a couple to that town hall. So it's kind of a bit of an issue because I believe they fizzle out by the time. Uh, no, the one dragon finishes him off. No big deal. Got to take down that expo. Take care of the rest of this base here. Ch -ch -ch -ch, bam, bam. Everything's just going down. No big deal. Chat bullied the crap out of this 9.5. Smashy, smashy. All right. Not a lot to learn from that one, but <laughs> my fault. Uh, whoop. <clears throat> All right, so uh, moving on, uh, let's check out the current war we're in. It's actually not even quite over, I don't believe. Nope. Uh, so Spider Clan, Spider Clan does whatever a Spider Clan can, and uh, you know they gave it their best. 49, 60 attacks. Um, you know it's not a very um, attack orientated uh, clan. Nothing uh, wrong with that whatsoever. But they gave it their best over there. <clears throat> uh, really nice showing so far by Invicta. You know, Sean Sean had a very sexy hit on their Town Hall 11. Pinto had a little bit of a bully, but really nice attack there nonetheless. <coughs> oh, jeez <coughs> Louise. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, another T 10 versus 10. Yeah, that's the one I had meant to show you. Uh, Death Hopper as well in on that action. So a lot of really nice stuff in here, guys. Fantastic job, Invicta. Still one more to clean up, I think think we're going to finish that off before the end of the war here though uh so let's just jump right in i had a few more marked off on this one start with number 22 
you know, nothing crazy on the base designs, but really nice to see guys just going old school. Um, you know, standard shattered Lalo here, right? Lure out that CC old school. Uh, clutch here is going to uh, lure it right up to this builder hut. These nice convenient builder huts in the corners. Uh, take care of that action. I believe with just his queen. Poison goes down. Yeah, there goes that queen. That's kind of ballsy. I probably would have just dropped the golem right here. And then poison behind and then queen behind that. Because then your queen's not going to risk taking damage. But worked out perfectly because down goes the CC. Queen barely has been touched. Uh, golems go in. Uh, just kind of nice spread on the uh, you know 10 to 2 position basically. Uh, going to create that funnel and then uh, believe just jump right over top. There it goes. Yep. Uh, just going to let everything in right to that queen. Just got to get that, take care of that queen and take care of much of this base as he can. And he's got 30 hogs left over. Um, if he can take care of, you know, these buildings here that takes care of the really only potential bomb locations in the whole base. Um, I believe there are some down here, but, um, you know, you see those double open spaces in this symmetrical base. You got to guess they're at least in one of those. They weren't, unfortunately, in the one that the golems and everything jumped into. Uh, I believe there are some in this in this compartment, uh, which the queen is about to find out, or that wizard. Yep, there is that bomb I was speaking of. Uh, so heal spell is down, right? Kind of taking care of everything, keeping everything alive. Um, I believe when I was watching this second heal is a little bit off. I really would have focused the heal over top of the the Tesla farm there. So see these see this hog there kind of getting roasted on the side, just slightly off. Nothing too crazy about that though. Um, rest of the hog standing right in that heal, gonna rip through the rest of those Teslas just in time. A few more hogs reinforcing from six o'clock there. Just got to take care of the arch towers left and the cannon on the outside really early on that heel as well. Probably could have just got away with it altogether. Um, the, the hogs there do trigger a bomb. So if he was going to early heal, I might have triggered over the bomb just in case. But no big deal. Definitely going to be tree in the bag. He's got a bazillion hogs left. Queen's walking around doing cleanup. Wizard up top there. Archer in the corner. Beautiful. Tree in the bag for Clutchy Boy. Nice job. All right. Oh, we got a live. Let's check out this live hit. Since I'm in the middle of the recap, why not? Yo-Yo is going for a triple here. Let's check things out. Live attack coming in, guys. Live attack in the middle of this recap. I love it. <clears throat> Maybe I start doing my recaps at the end of the wars more often and see if I can catch some of these. So poisons are going down, right? Taking care of that CC. Rage down just in time. He's got no worry of his queen going down here. Just going to finish off all of these compartments. Has nine Valkyries, I believe, is CC full of giants. Uh, so uh, nice little job in the giant there to open up that wall. Another giant goes in. CC uh, not full of giants. Maybe the CC's got Valks in it. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, Wizards going down though, help things out. You got a big clump of giants moving in. The queen breaks through the wall there too. That might be clutch. So in come the Valks. Yeah, it's Valks in the CC. So now these Valks are going to go right towards this Inferno Tower, jump spell connecting them to the next Inferno Tower. Uh, they're going to get really, look how quickly all these buildings go down, guys. These Max Valks, beautiful freeze there. Bam, gets two Teslas and the Inferno. Valks are going to take down the Inferno Tower before anything. This attack is looking really, really good at this point. Has a heal spell. He's going to want to drop on those Valks like right now, right now. Drop that heal. There it goes. Beautiful. Just going to take care of the rest of this stuff. Queen is going to walk up behind. <clears throat> I don't know, guys. He does not have his king here either. Like, no king in this attack. Could have been a tree star. I think if he had the king. But uh, no big deal either way. Going to be a high percentage two star. Yeah, the Valks are going to pit her out here a little bit. That heal was nice, but I think you need that king in there to do a little more beastly tanking. Um might have just opted for a jump spell to get over top to this stuff, but uh, hard to say. <clears throat> Probably end up with about, I don't know, 75, 76% uh, hit here. See how this finishes off. Still has the ability on the queen. 45 seconds to go. Definitely not going to get the three star, but um, might even get more than uh, more than I thought here. A couple more shots, 30 seconds to go, probably going to want to hit that ability very soon, and pop goes the ability, yeah, 83%, I guess, 84, 
Nice job, nonetheless, yo yo. I think if you had your king, you had a you had a legitimate shot there. Sexy. All right. So live attack. Nice. Um, let's keep moving on here. I got a couple more. I did want to show you what else I got. Twelve. Way up at twelve. Yeah. So Death Hopper going against his Town Hall 10, right? Death only has level 30 heroes. Death is a brand new Town Hall 10 himself, so really nice to see him making uh, making some really sexy hits. 18 Valkyries he's opting for here. Think it's a CC full of giants. Rage is gonna go down, help that queen out, just kind of work his way through the base. Is this the exact same base? <laughs> I think it is actually. Um, so Poison's gonna go down, help everything out. Basically almost the same base design as that last one. Maybe I'm crazy, but um, anyhow, so this queen's going to take care of the CC, and he's going to immediately send in the rest of his attack. He's going to send in a bunch of giants, funnel off this top section, send in these 18 Valkyries in this core. Now, guys, um, when you're Town Hall 10, leaving everything in the core like this is no not a good idea whatsoever. With the new Valkyrie AI, if a guy can manage to funnel his Valks into a core like this and drop a raid spell... You're going to lose so much value. So two Teslas and three Expos here. Uh, or sorry, two Inferno Towers and three Expos. And I think even Teslas um, are all going to go down to this little Valk Parade going in. Da -da -da. Everything's going to go right in. He's going to drop a jump spell there. Oh, no, just the raid spell, right? Rock, like, doesn't even need the jump. Free spell goes down on two Expos. Heal spell goes down, kind of helping the Valks continue to power through this base. Going to get right in on top of this last Inferno Tower now. Down it goes. Queen's still in there with the healers on there, doing uh, doing her thing, right? No danger whatsoever. Valks are looking good at this point, standing on her heal spell. <clears throat> has a couple minions he's going to send in start uh, helping out uh, the king that's wandered with this valk over here still has the ability to go on the king as well which is really nice valks still shredding through all of these buildings i'm going to start working on this wall i mean even this far into the base you know you know a handful of hits and these lego walls are going to just go down like butter like butter got to hit that king ability very soon though probably wants to do it right now while he's on that stuck on that wall but a uh, little off on that, I guess. There it goes, finally. Beat through that wall. Boom, boom. Finish that stuff off. Get on over. Help those barbs out. Really, there's like a compartment left over here. This queen's going to have to work through, the, work through this purple wall here, which won't take very long. But it doesn't matter. The king's in there now. Basically, there is one cannon to go. See you later, cannon. Down goes the air defense. And it's tree in the bag for Death Hopper. <clears throat> nice job, buddy. Right, and then number 10. Good old chat. Well, this is a Valk base if I've ever seen one. I actually hit the ba this base this war. Uh, used a few less Valks. Basically the exact same queen walk. This is actually, it looks like, the exact same plan pretty much as what I did. Um, just want to yank that CC out, kind of take out this chunk of the base to almost start creating the funnel for one side of the Valks. Um, poison spell goes down, helps that queen out. Does not have to drop a rage yet. <clears throat> Gonna work through that balloon, or the ugh, lava hound and the balloon. Down they go, cleaning up the pups. See, the spell comp that I chose was a little different. He just goes with a jump. I chose Earthquake here because I wanted there to be as wide of an opening as possible on uh, to get into that core just because of how close all of these buildings are going around the core. So sending in Valks, I was concerned they were going to go in and around and nothing was going to go to the core. So I used the Earthquake. But chat realizes he doesn't need to do that. He can just drop jump, and they're going to get sucked right in on that queen, get sucked right into these skeletons, and just go basically straight in. I mean, does this is exactly the same thing that happened as, to, as me. Um, you know, some of them went outside, some of them went inside. I did not get enough of them that went inside. It took way too long for this Inferno Tower to go down. But uh, chat's attack goes just splendidly. All the Valks take care of the core just in perfect fashionable time. Because now the Queen's in there. She's going to continue to clean up on the outside. Has all these Valks moving through all these buildings. No danger of getting stuck on any walls. They're just going to continue around the ring. Beautiful. Rage is up the king. Gonna bust through all this stuff, end up getting into that cannon. Queen's gonna continue to make her way around the base, and this is clearly a tree in the bag. Nice hit, chat. Sexy. 
And then, yes, this was a beautiful attack. So we got Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11 here. Um, 24 Valkyries we were about to see. Now, again, the, these very ring bases were already susceptible to Valks. Never mind after the update um, with how quickly they lock onto things. So the jumps go down here. Sean's just going to send in a pack of Giants, create a bit of a funnel early on that wizard, loses it right away. King and Queen go in too. Warden is in behind, going to protect all this stuff. Just needs to send all the Valks in this compartment out, and they're going to take this jump and go right up and into this base. Rage is going down. Valks are going to just fly through this stuff. <clears throat> Grand Warren hits the ability. Bam, bam. Gets everything into the core just perfectly. Got so many Valks. I mean, really, this, like realistically, this base is just so wide open. The Valks are going to get insane value movement through, right? Uh, still has a heal spell in the bag for this back end now that the Inferno Tires are taken care of. I think the heal is going to go right here, right here, right here. There it goes. Bam, bam, bam. Taking care of everything. Right, Queen has a little Valk escort there to helping her out. She's just going to continue to make her way through this base. Still has the ability to go. Right, <clears throat> seven wizards in the bag. Keep in mind, <laughs> think he's going to start dropping them on this back end here. <clears throat> there they go. Here come the wizards. Right, just like just shredded through this base. Beautiful. Queen's now meeting up. Still has the ability on the queen. Probably going to pop that any second now. <clears throat> but this base is clearly done for. Boom. One more wizard. Going to go down here. Maybe he's saving it. <laughs> Just wants things to get in range. Down goes the wizard. Tree in the bag for Sean Sean. Nice job, man. Against their number one. All right. So, another live attack. See if Polly can clean this up. Nice, nice, nice. Paul is going in here. Ooh, he has a bit of a Lalo going on. So he's going to move in. He's going to end up taking care of this next air defense. He's already taken down an air defense by the looks of it. Um, don't know if that CC is pulled out yet, but it's also going to get the defensive queen here in the process. Just needs to continue to work through this stuff. Um, I see two Lava Hounds, it looks like, and 21 Balloons. All right, we're going to have to see how this works out. Um, so this queen is about to lock on that defensive queen. There it is. So just going to hit the ability, make sure she goes down. Air defense number two goes down. King's going to now go in here and do a little bit of work in this bottom open compartment. <clears throat> just wants to continue to make pathway for this queen to step up and start to continue to get all of this stuff. And then has uh, this Lalo section for the back end. So here comes Lava Hound number one. A few balloons in. Kind of just a spread on all these balloons here. Doesn't even really target them on the defenses. See how this works out. But 21 balloons is quite a bit for only these two air defenses. Is losing those lap outs very, very quickly. But wants to get everything in on top here. Boom, boom, boom. Just got to take care of that expo. Now all these balloons are going to head right into this core. Down goes the Tesla. Down goes the Inferno Tower. Beautiful. Just needs to take care of that little bit of a Tesla farm. Get everything on over to that expo. Which I believe is a grounded expo. So it doesn't even matter as long as he's got enough balloons up. It's no big deal. Got to get to that air defense. Got pups on it now. Just going to finish it off. This is looking good. I think Polly is going to come away with this. This tree star. Absolutely is. Beautiful attack, Polly. Very, very sexy. Ugh. Can't type. All right, so nice. You guys got to see a couple uh, interesting live attacks in there. So this is a very lengthy recap already, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed, you know, uh, trying to get these combined recaps, you know, just get lets me make one more lengthy video than a bunch of small videos and I don't have to set time aside. I uh, explained that before. So hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, glad I could sneak a couple live attacks in here too because that's always interesting. Uh, but that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree start. Till then.